What's going on there guys? Good morning, good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here with an uh, update video on this beautiful Thursday, June 30th, 2022. Latest quake shows a 6.1 earthquake coming into the area of the Philippines region. A little bit of ramping up of earthquake activity here along the Philippine plate. Also a little swarming activity throughout the Indonesia area. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the USGS showing some movement. Stand by for just a second. Get the right window up. There we go. Uh, yeah, definitely some activity ramping up here along the Philippine plate. This has not come in yet from the USGS. Uh, let me double check this, make sure we got the right current page. So the data that we're seeing on the e on the uh, globe, earthquake globe, is from the EMSC site. And those guys are the ones that normally, for the most part, come out with the first preliminary earthquake data. Uh, and that's going to be this earthquake right here 6.1 felt in the philippines about 10 minutes ago uh, let's see what we got for um, info regarding this earthquake looks like about a 60 kilometer depth for that 6.1 there in the philippines area the maps will give us a good indicator of the exact magnet or the uh, location looks like it's just off this little uh this little island feature here north of uh north of the Philippines. Uh, we'll see what the uh, USGS has to say about this uh, earthquake here. Takes them a little while, um, but we'll wait on them as well for the uh, magnitude confirmation. All right, taking a look here at the East Coast area, making sure, uh, see if we got any further aftershock activity or further earthquake activity following the uh, movement we've seen yesterday. Looks like uh, a little bit occurred overnight. A couple more, a uh, couple more low two magnitudes in this region of South Carolina. Now it kind of looks like. Let me double check. Let me bring back the last seven days of movement here in this area. Again, this earthquake activity occurring near the Elgin, South Carolina region. 3.6, 3.5, 3.4. So a couple threes there yesterday. Seeing if they added any more earthquakes prior to the movement we've seen. Uh, looks like there was some movement back on the 26 when they also had that 3.4 in the area. So things are still kind of, still somewhat active out there. No larger quakes today in the three magnitude. Just some small microquakes overnight. Uh, West Coast area did see some activity ramping up here outside of the Tonopah area. Just a short time ago, uh, I believe we had a 3.9 right here. Try to keep it below that 4.0 threshold so it doesn't look as big. But uh, yeah, things definitely can ramp up here a little bit uh, along this area of Mina, Nevada, Tonopah area. Uh, it's been a little spotty in terms of the swarming activity that we normally look for following the uh, six pointer they had back in 2019. Sometimes aftershocks die off for a little bit and then they'll come back uh, under pressure and show a sign of uh, some swarming. And that's kind of what we're looking at today. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab some of my coffee. Coffee on a hot day. Oh, yeah. Uh, see what else we got. Uh, looks like some movement out uh, south of the Warm Springs area. A little bit of swarming kicking up there as well. West Coast activity, not a whole lot going on in Northern Cal. Uh, 2.0 yesterday into the area of the Mendocino Triple Point Junction area, just south of the, of the Cascadia Megathrust area. A little bit of movement along the Calaveras Fault Zone we've seen as well. Kind of curious, waiting for these guys to pull up their, their earthquake. I know for a fact we've seen it coming in pretty strong on the uh, I think we looked at the uh, Japan station here stand by for a second while this thing kind of kicks up and uh, I kind of want to show you guys the seismograph station in Japan that's picking up the 6.1 there from from the uh, Philippines pretty strong signature right here of that said earthquake again this is a Japan station uh, that's picking up that uh, pretty good sized earthquake. Definitely looks like it's six, uh, right around the magnitude six area. All right, back to the map here. Uh, 
Alaska looks like they're starting to really pick up in the activity here along the Aleutian Trench with a pretty good swarming activity. A lot of this movement pretty deep as well into the subduction zone. We've got one here, 2.1 at 153 kilometers. Some other shallower earthquake activity upstream, uh, including a 4.0 in this area. So definitely some heightened movement uh, taking place today in this area. There's the earthquake, a little bit of downgrade from the USGS there. Uh, looks like these guys are keeping it at a 5.9 at 36 kilometers. Uh, it has been reviewed by the USGS. Uh, still pretty quiet along the Fiji area and also Solomon Islands, New Zealand as well. Although I just got a notification here on my phone of a 3.4 in the uh, South Island of New Zealand here so let's go ahead and pull up the EMSC model real quick once again and see if we can spot some earthquake activity that the USGS is not reporting there in that area and stand by for just a second here on their large map it's not showing anything so we have to zoom in a little bit to pick up the uh, magnitudes that may be a little bit on the smaller side looks like just a couple spotty earthquakes here in the uh, New Zealand region there's that 3.4 that I was just chatting about that came in on my phone there looks like uh, man that's a deep earthquake 268 kilometers they've been having some deep movement earthquakes here around New Zealand recently so let's see exactly where this is at oh yeah we down there So looking at this map here, looks like they've had a couple earthquakes over the last couple days or so in this region in the three range, and including a four or so, but nothing, uh, nothing major at the moment. Still, this area is awfully quiet up here around Tonga, Fiji, Solomon Islands. It's not going to stay like that for long. Uh, let's see what we got here on the Big Island. Some spotty activity again. A southeastern flank. Looks like Loihi Sea Mount. A little spotty activity on on each side South America has shown a little bit of movement uh, over the last 24 hours with a 5.1 pretty deep into the Peru Chile trench a couple other fours in there as well all of them super deep Puerto Rico area lighten up a little bit with a 3.1 outside of the swarming area that we normally see Aside from that, Puerto Rico Trench looks pretty quiet throughout the region there. So, uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, double check South Southern California area. No major swarms overnight. Looks like some spotty activity that occurred yesterday. Yellowstone National Park. We'll give them a real quick update. Doesn't look like a whole lot popping up there at Yellowstone right now. These are the seismographs here. Little couple small, very small microquakes overnight, looks like. But aside from that, things pretty clear. All right, folks, have a good day. Stay safe out there and stay cool if you can. I uh, just wanted to get this update out on this 6.1, um, 5.9 from the USGS. Look at that earthquake right here. It's super deep quake along the Mariana, uh, Mariana Islands. Kicked up, uh, looks like overnight. Of course, this deeper earthquake activity here does uh, not only uh, scoot everything here to the west a little bit more, uh, but increasing pressure in this region. So no surprise to see that uh, larger earthquake activity in the Philippines area. 3.4 there in the uh, South, New Zealand, South Island of New Zealand. All right, guys, stay safe out there. Things uh, getting ready to rumble, I think. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on in the day uh, with a more complete update. Take care, guys, and stay safe out there.